My name is Fred Schock and I'm the executive director of the head of the Charles Regatta and we're here at Henley this year, 2022, and very excited to be here and supporting the U.S. national team. Our boats just arrived in the middle of the night and we're here rigging them before we go out for our first row. So we're very excited to be here. We're rowing in the eight. We actually ended up with bow number one, which I think is pretty unique because in a, in a regatta with like over 600 entries, I feel like that's pretty cool. Um, but we're racing the British in the first round on Saturday in the semifinal. So that's going to be probably some of the toughest competition. We just raced in the newly named Vichy 8. It is named after the original Vichy 8, um, which was the first U.S. women's crew to race internationally in Vichy in 1967. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX this year, which is just amazing for women in sports. We just came back of uh, Poznan, and now after this we're going to selection for the Worlds. And in between, it's good to have an experience like this, row some big boats. This is the next step for us towards Paris 2024, so for us we take a long range view on this. Um, it's another opportunity to race up against people who we're going to be competing against in Paris, so it's just a next step towards that. This is our first time back in the eights, you know, for a lot of us for like two years, um, just through COVID and, and training in different places. I mean. So it's a really cool opportunity just to like be back in the big boat. It's like our Friday Night Lights. Like it's the most fun in terms of having the crowd there the whole race. Um, they're like two feet away the whole way down the course. You know, it's a lot of fun just to see the whole rowing community from um, England and from, from the, the world coming out here to support and to just enjoy some good racing. So as you can see, we've got Head of Charles uh, on our oars and that's basically because they are helping us. So the Head of the Charles has a long history with U.S. rowing, obviously being one of the largest regattas in the world. We've competed there many times. So the Head of the Charles is almost synonymous with U.S. rowing and we're really excited that they're supporting us through this trip at Henley. We've always been keen supporters of the U.S. rowing. Believe it or not, some 30 years ago, I was a national team rowing coach, so it's very personal to me uh, to support them because this is a really important experience for them uh, to get tested and to go against international competition. It was good for them to be in the eight. It was good for them to have some good racing, and it is not the ending that we would have scripted, but um, it is certainly something that uh, we'll be working with. So the men's eight has just concluded against GB. And unfortunately, we came up short today, uh, but it was a tremendous learning experience. The guys are uh, redoubling uh, their commitments and their energy. And I think every time you have a race like that, it's a, it's a new experience and you learn from it. And uh, it was a tight race, and it was a tough race, um, but I think um, coming here to Henley was a, a really good idea to get uh, time together, um, building uh, chemistry and, and building swing. So I, I think we're on a good track and looking forward to the future.